Today's Bible story is starring Jane playing James, John playing John, and our special guest Peter the dog playing, you guessed it, Peter! One day, Jesus took Peter, James, and his little brother John on a walk. It took them to Mount of Transfiguration. When they reached the top, John decided he would rather play with the ball, while the other two followed Jesus. But as they looked up at him, they were amazed. Jesus had completely changed. He was still their best friend, but his clothes were dazzling white, and his face shone like the sun. <gasps> Shiny Jesus! Then Jesus called to his buddies, Moses and Elijah, over. Who knew our best friend had such good connections? I know, I know. Since we're all having such a good time, how about we put some tents and stay for a while? It's so stressful down at the bottom of the mountain, but here we can rest and hang out with the best of the best. Hey, John, do you think Moses would like to play fetch? But just before Peter left to find the ball, a bright cloud came over them all. They suddenly heard a booming voice surrounding them. This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if I heard a voice of God coming down from the clouds, I'd be pretty terrified. Looks like it didn't sit very well with James and Peter either. John, we're not so sure. Seeing this, Jesus came down and told them to get up and to not be afraid. This may have been an amazing experience, but they shouldn't tell anyone about it until it was the right time. So what's your mountaintop experience? Maybe it was an amazing date with your spouse or even your honeymoon. What about a amazing retreat where you felt so connected with God and everything just feels right in the world? Or maybe your priest on Sunday had an amazing homily that spoke immediately to your heart. All of these things can make us feeling kind of like Peter. Let's set up camp. Let's stay here a while. You know, this, why, why on earth would we want to go anywhere else but here? So why do we even have these four tastes of heaven? What's the point to make us dissatisfied with the world? No, in fact, it's quite the opposite. Those moments of transfiguration, when the light is shining bright, when we can see clearly, those moments are meant to be taken with us down the mountain so that we can live our lives where it's less than perfect. Even though life and Lent can be hard, can be a little darker, can be a little less joy-filled, I know it's on the other end. We'll meet you this Sunday in the Eucharist and know how truly and deeply God loves you. Are you ready, dear? I am. Holy cow! Pa! Not close. I need to go closer to me. Okay. But you need to, like, cheat your very. What? Jesus! <laughs> you good? Go right here. Right? All right. Make sure there's a point at the bottom. No, 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 no. no, no. no.